do you feel about this top? It's from like Gabriel Brothers and it's really cute, I think, but I could only find it in red. I was like, okay, I need white, black, green, yellow, oh, baby pink. Oh. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a long lasting snatch, you know, like the whole ordeal, but we're gonna make it last forever. This look is bulletproof. This look is not coming off my face until I decide to sit down and take it off my face. And this is what I wear when I have like somewhere important to go where I know pictures are gonna be taken. This is it, you know? This will work in hot climates. This will work. I got wear this to cheer competitions where everyone's just sweaty. So it works. This is long lasting. This is the full on cake. This is the beat. This is the, the breakdown. The skincare video is coming Sunday and that's big deal. I take skincare very seriously. It's coming Sunday. We're doing a giveaway in it. Be on the lookout for that at seven o'clock like I always post on seven o'clock. Yeah. Like, it's, it, I don't have words, I'm so excited about it, okay? Make sure you're subscribed so that you always see what I'm doing because I post everything that I ever do online, so. All the YouTubers say like, hit the notification bell, but I guess hit the notification bell if you wanna be that close. Like if you wanna be BFFs, then yeah, then use that bell, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the makeup. Let's go to what you actually came here to watch, not me sitting here being anxious. Ready, let's go this way. All right, let's get to it. So I've already moisturized my skin and I used the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I really like this stuff. If you need any moisturizer, you should probably try this one. For a primer, I'm going to use the Present by Philosophy. I know that this primer is not super um, like popular. A lot of people don't talk about it. Primer is really important for making your makeup last all day. I used to never wear primer. I didn't really care. I didn't really believe in it. But um, you can definitely tell a difference with the certain types of primers that you use. And I am always looking for a good primer, but I've used this one for years and I keep coming back to it. So I, that's how I know that there's something that like really resides with me. It kind of smells like glue and it kind of looks like glue. It kind of feels like glue. But I mean, that's the point of primer to keep it on your face. So. So next step is a little bit different. Um, I just started doing this a little bit like recently. And I feel like it's made a really big difference in my skin and how long my makeup wears. So I coach cheerleading and on competition days, we literally start at like 6 a.m. and we're not done till like 10 p.m. sometimes. So my makeup has to literally last the entire day. It has to look good at the end of the day when we get pictures. Like, it's a lot of work, okay? I've heard a lot of people talk about using like a translucent powder underneath your makeup to set your primer before you go in with foundation. And I always thought that is exactly the wrong thing to do. I've always been taught, you know, liquid before powder. But one day I tried it and it worked so well. So if you have oily skin or you just really, really want to lock that makeup in and make sure it lasts all day, I would definitely suggest trying this step. So I'm just going to take some Laura Mercier powder, not too much, and I'm going to use my um, Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge and literally just set my powder, well, my primer down. I think it really helps like smooth out your skin as well so that everything goes on super, super smooth. I'm gonna put this all over my face, make sure it is completely covered, but you don't have to be super like clean about it. You can be messy because you're gonna put foundation on anyway, so. Next for foundation, I get this question all the time. I get DMs, I get so many questions about foundation. One of my favorites that I have religiously used for since like sophomore year of high school is Revlon Colorstay. I've talked about it a million times and I know they're coming out with a new formula of it. So if they get rid of this, I'm going to have a heart attack, okay? But anyway, I'm going to use Revlon Colorstay. I'm using it in the shade Golden Caramel today. It is like my spray tan shade, which I have right now. My face isn't sprayed, but my body is. It's a little dark, but it looks so good in pictures and it lasts. It is the longest lasting foundation I think I've ever tried. Only in my house would you find this. 
So I'm just going to apply this foundation all over my face. Um, I only used one pump because the concealer I'm going to use is super full coverage. So I don't want to like do too, too much. This spreads pretty nicely, so I think you can get away with not packing it on. I love this stuff. It literally makes you look like a Barbie doll in pictures. A lot of the time on Instagram, whenever I'm on Instagram and stuff, I wear this or I wear... There's like a couple other foundations I would wear, but almost always it's this one. Like This is the one I go back to over and over again. I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NW25. And I'm going to use this everywhere. This concealer smells like paint. And I'm convinced it's because it's partially paint. This concealer will not budge, will not go anywhere underneath your eyes. Like, it is there to stay. This is more long wearing than Tarte Shape Tape more long wearing than any other concealer I've ever tried in my life. I've used this one for years too. This was the first concealer I actually, well, it was one of the first concealers I ever bought. <laughs> if you get up close with this, it can look a little bit uh, cakey. So just be really careful and make sure your skin's like moisturized underneath. And the applicator is just, I mean, there is no applicator. You just pump it out like it's a little bottle it's a glass bottle be careful not to drop this i did drop it on vacation one time and the glass broke and the concealer went everywhere for cream contour i'm going to use the maybelline master contour by face studio contour stick thing yeah i like this but i only like the one side of it so i'm just gonna use the contour side and put it all the normal places I would cream contour. I cream contour on natural days and on long lasting days. I just think it looks the most natural. I love the result I get from cream contouring. I probably will never ever go back. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with the same side that I did my foundation with. This helps because it kind of like meshes the foundation and the cream contour together so you have like the most natural look possible, if that makes sense. I like this edge a lot for um, like cream contour on my cheekbones. I'm just gonna push it up and really into my skin. Cream contour, if you're going to make, if you want your makeup to really last and look flawless, I definitely suggest cream contouring. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it, you'll never ever look back. So for powder, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, the same one I set my primer with. I'm gonna mix it with a tiny bit of Ben Nye banana powder. I always do this because I just haven't found anything that I like more yet. So this is nothing new. We need like a half half concoction, not a, not a 25-75. This concealer really doesn't need to be set. Like it kind of sets itself, but, I, but like on days where I really want it to last, I always still just set it because you can't take no risks. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I don't really like believe in baking baking, but I am gonna let it sit just for a second while I bronze my skin. This little gem from the drugstore, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee, and I really like it. I have all of the shades of these palettes, but I really like this one the most because the bronzer is like more warm and, and the other one's more like gray, so this one's good for bronzing. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush, I use this one all the time, the 100, and just brush over the spots that I put my cream contour. I'm not gonna put too much because like I did cream contour, so I just kinda wanna like set it, you know? I'm back and I just did my eyebrows off camera. Next I'm gonna take the banana powder in this little contour, a little ordeal. I'm just gonna brush away the bake or that like that Laura powder with this powder. I know this is a lot of powder, but 
if you want it to last, if you want it to be bright, if you want it to look smooth, this is what, this is exactly what I suggest. I'm gonna use just a little bit right here to brighten it up. A little down my nose, and a little on my chin, a little here, and a little here. Next, I'm going to put powder on the rest of my face. We're just not messing around with powder today. Just a little tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna use the normal Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder in the shade Pecan and just blend that all together. No, I'm not really gonna worry about my under eyes since I already put powder there, but just like a light, a light dusting, you know, nothing too crazy. That ensures that my makeup is just really set, not going anywhere. We're solid, okay? I cannot get over this blush. This is NARS Super Orgasm, and like I just, can't this is the longest lasting it looks the best on my skin tone it is so pretty like i can't get over it there's this one and milani luminoso like i need to explore my bad i need to explore more into the world of blush i seriously can't for highlight i don't know if i ever used this on my channel i'm gonna use ColourPop electric slide this is definitely discontinued and I'm really sorry that I'm about to use it on camera, but I'm gonna use my Morphe M501. I always use this and just do this like normal. I like this highlight if I'm gonna, if I want it to really last all day because it's kind of like a cream to powder. So it really like, there, it's not going anywhere, if that makes sense. It goes on cream, like creamy and then dries down really powdery. The consistency of the ColourPop highlighters is so different. It's my favorite style of highlighter I've ever tried in my life. To make that look a little bit more natural, I'm gonna go over my blush with my blush brush and just go like this, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add in this Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer as a blush topper. Take a look at that, isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. This travel size is only like $8 at Ulta or something like that. So I would say give this a try. I actually order a lot of my makeup from Amazon. I mean Ulta or Amazon just because like the two day shipping, you can't beat it. I'm just gonna blend all of that in. Put a little blush on the forehead. For my eyes, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna use my Morphe 3502 palette. <laughs> Look at this. Hello, yes. 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 I'm gonna use this shade right here. Let's put a little bit of this shade in there too. Why not? I'm gonna just put that all over my eye. I only really put concealer on top of this, so time as long as i have like a medium brown on my eyeball i don't really care does that look pretty does it look ugly no it looks good it looks all right Let me try this shade right here oh i think i like this shade yeah i like that this shade right here there's no names on this palette but it's in the corner this shade right here the shimmery one as a inner corner highlight it's beautiful. This reminds me a lot of Primavera from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. A little on the tip of the nose, can't forget that spot. And on the brow bone. Cause in pictures, the brow bone is phenomenal. Like you cannot forget to highlight the brow bone. You just can't, you have to highlight the brow bone. That's all I'm gonna do for my eyes, honestly. Now I'm gonna do, I think, what is the most important step. I'm gonna use MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to use the lavender scent, because I love lavender. And I'm going to spray this. I'm going to take a bath in this. I'm going to shower. I'm going to cleanse my sins away with this. Now, I know everyone's gonna be like, you're insane, but I'm gonna use my blow dryer and blow dry my face, so. I wouldn't suggest just doing MAC Fix Plus as a setting spray. I would definitely say go 
with another setting spray. That one kind of just sets the powders. I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I use this all the time. Nothing new here. The longest setting spray I've ever used in my life. The combination I've been loving recently is the NYX Lip Liner in Peekaboo Neutral. Did I even have to say it? No. I think the weirdest face when I glow the liner. A good tip is to do lip liner underneath whatever lip color you're wearing if you want it to really last as long as possible. Last, I'm gonna do MAC under the sheets lip gloss. It's like really nude and pink and beautiful, but it doesn't look right unless I have like a deeper lip liner underneath, so. Oh my God, it's beautiful. it so much and that is it for my long lasting makeup routine the skincare video will be up sunday so excited for that one if you have any other tips for me like of how to make your makeup last longer i love to hear them so leave them in the comments below thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting thank you for liking commenting thank you for everything thank you so much and i'll see you sunday Mwah.